Hey everyone, welcome back to Entertainment Talk, uh, eTalk UK on Twitch. I'm your host Matthew, and this is the Matrix thing. Um, this got released around about the Game Awards uh, a few months ago. Obviously, I didn't have PlayStation 5 back then. my PlayStation doing that. I don't know if any of you saw what happened there, but I said PlayStation. Alright. Um, yes, this got released on this console. Um, back at the Game Awards, but I didn't have it back then. Um, and I've got a bit of time, and I remember that it was free, and I haven't experienced it yet, and it's supposed to reuse, I think, Unreal Engine 5. Now, I've uh, expressed many times on many different podcasts that I don't care for visual um, extravaganzas, if you want to call them that. Um, I've heard that this is just kind of a visual showcase, that's not going to be something that impresses me. Um, I did a podcast a week or so ago. Uh, let me just make sure this stream's actually still on because that might have messed with some stuff. Oh, no, it's still on. All right. Um, I did a podcast uh, about a week ago or so and I talked about how video games can evolve and none of it included graphics. Um, so I don't know what type of gameplay you actually get here. I haven't seen any of this game. I just know that it's to do with Unreal Engine 5 and it's a bit of a graphic showcase in terms of matrix itself i'm not a big fan of matrix so i guess what i'm trying to say overall is i've got kind of low expectations going into this and if it's going to be a visual showcase and it's good at doing that then that's fine that's just not for me um but i thought it's free and i can just stream my impressions on this but my expectations are very low very very low in terms of what this is giving to games and what I want from games are possibly two different things. But let's, I suppose, enter the Matrix and see what this is all about. I mean, the films of the Matrix are kind of dead now, but yeah. I will tell you if I think it's graphically good anyway, Hi, which I'm so Tom far Sixth. it is. Like many of you, I work with computers. I like the freedom I feel outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are also mirrors, reflecting back who and what we are and the choices we make, the worlds we build. They also confront us with questions about why we want to choose this that why we want to make x instead of y where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from you take the red pill and i show you how deep the rabbit hole goes this isn't real what is real how do you define real for instance i'm not even sure why i'm here I remember waking up and thinking that I'm supposed to come here. That it was important for me to ask people, how do we know what is real? Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character of Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, we wondered about digital faces that could become immortal. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. Twenty years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean? 
when a world we can build feels as real as our own. I can tell that's supposed to look real, real. I can still tell that that's a video game character. Fine with your theoretical mumbo jumbo, but you needed some sexy action. Who said? The marketing people. Marketing? I thought we were supposed to have total creative control. Welcome to the Matrix. Preparing me to fight the system? Right on. Do you know about this? Yeah. It's all supposed to be a little unreal. Word of advice. Agents are bad. But whatever you do. Then this is just a marketing you. thing for the Matrix film. Which people didn't like. Was it called Resurrections or something? do that. Down a little bit. You drive. I'll shoot. Really? This is kind of messy. Yeah, this is really happy. This is actually quite bad. I'm just pressing off too. Really. You just blew up the taxi and you killed someone. Even any interesting like haptic feedback stuff going on, just vibrations, and I think this was made just for the PS5.
ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೆ mass AI crowd and traffic system automatic open I'm trying to read okay so this is trying to break down rule object Toggle day and night cycle Particle system Virtualized Okay It doesn't look any better than like Spider-Man games When I'm swinging through New York and stuff Higher displayed resolution, again don't care Toggle displayed rendered pixels. It's not actually letting me do that. Procedural generator. Games have been doing that for ages. New generation digital human. That's what they were talked about with the digital stuff at the start. Alright, oh, can I like walk around in the open world? What can I do? Fly? Oh, I thought she was actually gonna start flying. Sprint, menu, dismiss controls. Car's broken. Good stuff. So now I'm trying to look out for like animations. Okay, the thing broke off. It was a bit different. So this is try it's trying to give me like a showcase for what Unreal Engine 5 can achieve for the future of games and stuff. See the animation when she gets out of the car? A bit different. Kind of clip through the door. Show that again. Yeah, there's some clipping going on there. Um, can't jump. Running animation's pretty basic. This car looks better. Let's try this one. Animation's pretty normal. Car controls are not very good. I can't even hear this car. It's very fast, but I can't hear it. Get out of the car. Eh, I mean... What happens if I get in the way of people? Any animations for that? Not really. See these character models here. Okay, he interacted a little bit. That was kind of good. They don't look as good as what the Keanu ones looked a minute ago. 
Why does it look worse all of a sudden? Let's try sprinting. So that guy's got a coffee, right? Or whatever he's got in his hand, okay? So if you're walking down the street, someone's running. Okay, he's doing a couple of things. He's not saying anything. She's got a bag. If I bump into her. There's nothing here so far that I think like, wow, can't wait for Unreal Engine 5 to show me this thing. You can see the interiors of this building fairly well. Can't go in the building. Some bit of pop in there. Let's try that again. Okay, it didn't happen that time. Let's try and see um, what happens if we run into a car that's driving. Nobody's really driving at full speed. What happens if we get in a car and crash into another one? So, that van that's just gone in front of us, let's crash into it, see what happens. Okay. Any damage? No. Nope. Uh, should I go a bit faster? And... Okay, that's better. Yeah. Okay, I did a fair bit of damage there. Uh, and again, because it's Matrix, I can't run someone over and see what their body animation is like. Because the things I'm interested in looking for is interactions, animation, sound, design, encounters with other AI, things like AI movement. Again, I can't, yeah, it's all matrix stuff in it. They're just disappearing. Okay, that window broke. That was good. I'm not like, I'm not blown away at all. Um, is that car gonna move now? What's he gonna do? Okay, is the person sitting in the car? So that taxi was just driving, there was somebody in it. Uh huh. Again, I'm looking for an AI reaction there. She's just sitting in the car just staring at it. Can I... well I can't steal the car. Okay, let's get another car. And drive into this mess of this creative. Oh, it disappeared. Broke in this car. Camera's going a bit weird. Oh. Matrix disappearance. Where is this supposed to be? New York or something? Okay, I've caused a traffic stop there. They're just sitting there waiting. So what about if I get in another car? Oh, they all disappeared. Okay, the thing's hanging off the back, that's kind of cool. Let's try 
try and cause some real trouble. Oh, cut the cars just keep disappearing. Alright, I'm bored now. <laughs> Overall, um, I mean, that looks kind of cool, interesting. Um, this didn't give me what I wanted it to. I thought the gameplay was now uh, uninteresting. This is a, basically a visual showcase for Unreal Engine 5. I want to see what Unreal Engine 5 can do with gameplay though. And interactivity, animation, AI, what can it do with those things? Um, yeah, I guess that was my answer, wasn't it? So, we shall see. Anyway, not every game is going to be using Unreal Engine 5 going forward, but again, we're in this time period, you know, with games, PS5, Xbox Series X, what can we achieve with games with these new consoles? Um, yeah, um, I'm not really expecting to go into any of these buildings. Uh, now the anim animations here are pretty standard. Um, interactivity, obviously it's a bit limited because this is a tech demo. But this was basically just to show you, hey look, we got Keanu Reeves digitally made in this game. Look how good he looks. And like, I suppose that I suppose what they were trying to do with this is like, you know, with the Matrix, can you tell what's real, what isn't? And with this game, can you tell if people are, you know, if we sh if we shot the physical version on camera of Keanu Reeves, or if we digitally recreated him? But okay, what else can you do with this? So yeah. Anyway, that's it from me. Um, I'm gonna leave this guy to his whatever he's got here. But yeah, as I mentioned, like if you're going for like, oh, look how good these character models look. Okay, he kind of opened his mouth a bit there. These ones here don't look as good as the ones we saw a minute ago. So, yeah, make of that what you will. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time, either on Twitch here or on eTalk UK, YouTube Entertainment Talk Plays, and you can find us talking about stuff on entertainmenttalk.org. See you next time. What was the photo mode? Never mind. Oh, wait, what's... Throttle, handbrake, exit, nav out, and just uh, walk. Alright. Anyway. Wait, what's all this stuff behind this? Sun rotation? What is all this stuff? Why would I want to do that? Alright, I'm good. See you next time.